sectors. Whistleblowers should be protected in all fields of EU competence, and such protections should apply to persons disclosing not only illegal activities, but also wrongdoing and other information in the public interest. The important thing is that whistleblowers act in the public interest, whatever sector or type of practice they expose. We need to protect whistleblowers because they ensure the protection of environmental and social standards, as we're all aware of. But it's also vital to understand that ensuring minimum protection for whistleblowers throughout the European Union would contribute to the consistent and effective functioning of the single market. And what we do at our level, of course, does not prevent member states from going further in their national legislation. On a more technical issue, we must recall the importance of reporting channels and follow-up mechanisms. I've heard the different views from, from shadow rapporteurs and read the different amendments from political groups on this issue. And I'm optimistic about us reaching an agreement on the reporting channels used by whistleblowers. We're keen to build support for an approach that still leaves the possibility for whistleblowers to disclose information to the public, as there are sometimes cases where, there are, where they simply have no other option. If we think about the example of Antoine Deltour, who really is an important person in this parliament, having given rise to the LuxLeaks committee, which set us on this track, he could not report internally, as it was the strategy of his employer to help clients avoid their taxes. He couldn't go to the tax authority as they were complicit in organising sweetheart tax deals. And in the end, he was forced to go public, which cost him very dearly in terms of his personal uh, prospects. This is not what most whistleblowers will choose to do, but sometimes this is their only option and we need to acknowledge this and protect them appropriately as lawmakers. Additionally, we seek to follow the principle of reversing the burden of proof, which was strongly advocated by experts at the PANA expert panel on whistleblowing. Those who seek to protect the public interest should not be required to prove their status as whistleblowers in court, nor prove that they acted in good faith. It should be for those whose information they disclosed to prove that they had a malign intent. Further, I would like to reiterate the point on the need for the creation of an independent European body for whistleblower protection. As we can see from previous cases, such a body is necessary to consistently implement protection for those whistleblowers who seek to bring to light information on an issue which is closely related to the regulations of the state. In such cases, it is especially important to consider the prospect of an EU-wide whistleblower protection fund in order to provide potential whistleblowers with independent legal advice and financial compensation in case they face damages relating to their disclosure. So, Finally, we are confident about the support shown by the other EU institutions and particularly the Commission. We feel we're leading by example here in implementing this, uh, in, in bringing forward the necessity of having strong legislation to protect whistleblowers. And I look forward to hearing from the other shadows and to working with them at our meeting later on today.